Why did you choose to leave the Democratic Party? There are some sane people left, and we gotta find them, and we gotta collect them, and we gotta strengthen them. Uh, Sage Steele, who I put at the top of the show, she's one of them, she'll be here on Wednesday. Uh, Tulsi Gabbard's another one of them, she'll be in studio in a couple weeks, and she, of course, is a former Democrat. She is a current serving member of our military, she is a true patriot. I've got a couple differences of opinion with her, uh, but here she is talking about the extremism in the Democrat Party. Like I said, you were a longtime Democrat, you were for president in 2020 as a Democrat. Now you're an independent and you're an excellent book describing your journey ideologically, philosophically through that. Why did you choose to leave the Democratic Party? In the book, I go into um, a number of the central reasons why I made that choice, uh, but fundamental to them um, is that the Democratic Party has become a party uh, that is opposed to freedom, that is opposed to the central and foundational principles um, that exist within our founding documents and that serve as the identity of, of who we are as Americans and what this country is supposed to be about. Uh, it has become a party that is um, controlled by this elitist cabal of warmongers who are driven, uh, who are driving forward this, this quote unquote woke agenda. Um, and we see it through their uh, racializing of everything. We see this through their defund the police um, uh, mission. We see this through their open border policies. We see this through uh, how in their education policy, they are failing our kids uh, and how they are pushing um, this narrative that ultimately is a rejection of objective truth. Uh, the fact that it's a question up for debate about whether or not, well, actually, it's not a question up for debate for them. They are they are actively pushing for um, you know, boys who identify as girls to compete against girls in sports, uh, changing our language so that the word woman, the identity of being a woman is is essentially being erased from our society. And it is it is the height of hypocrisy and frankly, an act of hatred towards women that they are so intent on doing this. And ironic that it's coming from the party that for so long proclaim proclaimed themselves to be the greatest feminists and the most pro-woman party in the country. I go into detail around each of these issues and more um, in, in the book, but you will see as we go through each of these issues, fundamental and foundational to every one of them is that sadly the Democratic Party has become a party that is so consumed by their desire for power, this insatiable hunger for power, that they are willing to destroy um, they are willing to destroy our republic, our democracy, our freedom, just so that they can try to hold on to power and gain more power. Isn't that something? Ex-Democrat right there. Think how fundamentally this different this country would be right now had the Democrats only three and a half years ago, instead of going with old Joe Biden and people said, well, he's not that woke and he's gonna be an old Democrat and he'll stop them. Uh, had they chosen her. She was the last one in it against him. Now, maybe that was never gonna happen, but that might be the last moment that Democrats had a choice. And they don't have a choice anymore. <laughs>